Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ALV by CL underscore SALV underscore table class and in the previous video we called the factory method and we called the display method after that we are passing the data we will get a object of this particular class we will get a instance of this particular class once we will get the instance of this particular class we will simply simply call the display method through that particular object now what i will do i will simply call in the debugging mode so that we can understand yes how the object is creating and how we are calling the display method and have you seen we have not created any field catalog we are simply passing the data internal table so i will put a breakpoint and we will understand in the debugging i will give the input i will go to execute I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. And you can see currently I am on 77 line number. If I will show you the object, this object is referring to this particular class. So object has not created yet. Object is initial. And if I will show you the data internal table, this is our data internal table which has seven column and four rows. Now, whenever I will execute this particular method, the object of CL underscore SALV underscore table class will create. And once the object will create, I will simply simply call the display method. Now, I will not do F5 because this is SAP method. I will not go inside this particular method. I will simply do F6. Whenever I will do F6, control will simply, simply come on to the next statement. So this whole will act as one line and the object will create. I am doing F6. And you can see the object has been created. So this particular factory method is giving us the instance, is giving us the instance this is the first, first important point we covered. What is the purpose of factory method? So that you will get the instance, you will get the object. So once you get the object, after that, you can call any method. Now we are calling that display method. If you see, with the help of object, we are calling that display method. If I will go to SC24 and go for this particular class, suppose if I'm going for this particular class, CL underscore SALV underscore table. If I will find the display method, you can see display method is a instance method. And we all know whenever there is an instance method, object creation is compulsory object is created through this factory method so can i call the instance method display yes and which will display the alv in the table format i will simply go to execute and you can see i have the alv in the table in, in the table format and i have not created any field catalog now the question will comes into everyone mind we have not created the field catalog using SAP function module. We have not created the field catalog by using manual method. Then how, how the column labels are coming? Your column labels are coming from your data internal table itself. Just see your data internal table. This is your data internal table. In this data internal table, we are referring to this structure type. And this structure type has these columns. And have you seen we have the data elements? So your labels are coming from these data elements itself. If I will go to any of the data element, 
So these are your labels which you are able to see. These are your labels which you are able to see. So without creating the field catalog, it is simply, simply taking the labels from your data internal table itself. Now we will go for next important point. I'm running this particular program. Now I will not go for debugging. I'm running this program. And have you seen whatever the output I'm getting, I'm getting in a full screen mode, full screen mode. So just see if I'm getting in the output in the full screen mode, it means this particular method, this particular class, this particular class as of now displaying the ALV by using which function modules reuse ALV list display and reuse ALV grid display. At the initial level, we covered itself. Your CLSALV table has a combination of both the features. You can go for CLGUI ALV grid container concept also, you can go for full screen of reuse ALV grid display and list display. SAP combined all these tools into one class that is called as CL underscore SALV underscore table. And as of now, we are getting the output. We are getting the output into full screen mode. It means whatever the output we are getting, it is similar to reuse ALV list display and reuse ALV grid display. In the next video, but I will do same to same this particular method. I will pass the container and the container name. Whenever we will show, whenever I will display the ALV by using the container that is equal to which particular concept? CLGUI ALV grid. You can, whenever the topic will proceed, you will see the real importance of this particular class. First, most important, yes, there is no need to create the field catalog. With the help of one class, you can go for container concept also. You can go for full screen concept also. And as of now, we got the output in full screen mode. In the next video, I will go for container and container name. Then you will see, oh, it is equal to just like CLGUI ALB grid class. So both things are simply, simply available in this single class itself. And that is the base of ALV object model. ALV object model is a encapsulation of all the pre-existing tools. Pre-existing tools means all available function modules, all available classes. They are combined into one object model that is ALV object model. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, we understand, firstly, we understood in the debugging mode how the object is creating using the factory method and how we can call the display method. Display method is a instance method. So yes, object creation is compulsory. I can call through the object. After that, we covered, yes, we have not created the field catalog. So how these column labels are coming? They are coming from your data internal table itself. The next point we covered, as of now, this particular class is giving the output in the full screen mode. It means it is just giving the output look like reuse ALV list display and reuse ALV grid display function module. In the next video, I will pass the container and the container name and you will understand the output is similar to what we are displaying through CLGUI ALV grid class. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.